assalamu alaikum is an uh, application of the bose einstein statistics we are going to explain the bose einstein condensation the bose einstein condensation is a, a phenomena in which all the boson occupy the ground in their state if you remember when we were discussing the bose einstein statistic we said that there is no restriction on the number of boson occupying a single inner state because boson are the particle which do not obey the pauli exclusion principle so if we go on decreasing the temperature of a system so the boson go to a lower and lower energy state and a stage is reached at at a certain lower temperature all the boson occupy the ground state of the system and this gives rise to a new state of matter that is known as the bose einstein condensate the idea of bose einstein condensation arose in 1924 when bose was working on the group of photon he noted that an unlimited number of boson can have the same energy and share a single quantum state uh, bose sent his work to einstein and he einstein extended the work of bose to show that at extremely low temperature the uh, bosonic atom would group and to a shear quantum state at lowest available energy states bose work was on the photon however einstein extended it to all the boson and from uh, bosonic atom we mean that the atom which have uh, integral spin for example the atom with zero spin 1 2 and 3 they are all are bosonic atom while the fermionic atoms are those atom which have spin equal to half Three uh, half, five half, and so on. For example, um, hydrogen has a spin of half, so that is uh, a fermionic atom. While the helium it has a spin zero, so it is a bosonic atom. So, uh, and this form a new state of matter, which is known as the Bose-Einstein condensate, and the phenomena itself is known as the Bose-Einstein condensation, as I explained earlier. Uh, in 1938. Uh, there are scientists known as uh, F. London who proposed that the Bose-Einstein condensation could be a possible mechanism for explaining the phenomena of super turbidity and super conductivity. In 1995, Bose-Einstein condensate was produced in lab by cooling the rubidium atom below 100. 17 and field one so the idea was uh, uh, floated in 1924 however experimentally the bose einstein uh, condensate was obtained uh, in the lab in 1995 um, th there was some experiment uh, to know about the properties of the bose einstein condensate in 1998 in one such experiment at harvard in, uh, university it was noted that the speed of light is extremely reduced when the bose einstein condensate that is equal to 17 meter per second so that is extremely low speed for the speed of light in the bose einstein condensate for the bose einstein condensation there exist a critical temperature that is known as the bose temperature represented by tb below which the normal matter start converting into the Bose Einstein condensate. So you can call this Bose temperature is the um, critical temperature. Uh, this is the uh, we, from where the phase transition starts from the normal matter to the Bose Einstein condensate. Just like uh, when we go on decreasing the temperature of water, so below uh, zero degree centigrade, the water start converting into i state is the solid state now uh, we, we are going to discuss certain properties of the bose einstein condensate and for that we have to take help of the bose einstein statistic so according to bose einstein statistic uh, number of mm, bosons and occupying the bose einstein statistic could be written as this where gj is the uh, degeneracy uh, e is the energy of the state and mu is the chemical tension and k is the uh, uh, boltzmann constant and t is the absolute temperature 
Uh, in general, energy of the quantum state are very close this space, so uh, we have to replace this summation by integration. So equation number one can be written as this, where G E D E is the number of energy states between the energy E and D E, and we have already calculated uh, G E D E while we were discussing the um, uh, Boltzmann elastic distribution. So here you can uh, take the, all the constant out of this uh, integral and you have to uh, calculate this integration there. Now this equation number 2 represents the number of particles in the exact state because g e d is equal to 0 at e is equal to 0. So this integration exclude the number of particles which are in the ground state. So what we can write for the total number of particles is that it is the sum of the number of particles in the ground state plus the number of particles in the excited state. So this equation to actually represent uh, exclude the number of particles in the ground state, it means that equation 2 represents the number of particles in the excited state. So we can write uh, equation number uh, 2a, equation number 4, which represent the number of particles in the excited state. And for the ground state, we have E0, which is the energy of the ground state, and that is equal to 0. And the ground state, of course, this is the uh, non dependent set of GJ is equal to 0. So from this equation number 1, we have N0 is equal to this given by equation number 5. So equation number 5 gives the number of particles in the ground state while equation number 4 on the previous page gives the number of particles in the excited state. Now at the very low temperature the chemical potential is equal to 0 because at very low temperature the energy is quite low so uh, by adding or removing the particle in a system uh, has no effect on the overall energy of the system so that is why the chemical potential is equal to zero and if the chemical potential is equal to zero so this exponential is equal to one and uh, if we put the, the, this exponential is equal to one so from equation number four we can have the uh, expression for the excited number of particles as given by equation number six now uh, we have to solve this uh, integral and for that we put uh, E for e divided by k t is equal to x such that d is equal to k t dx. So from equation number six we have this. Now we are rearranging. We have this integral. So now we have to solve this integral. If you remember, we have already encountered this such type of integral when we were discussing the um, the by theory of specific heat, and this is equal to gamma three zeta uh, gamma 3 by 2 zeta 3 by 2 and the value of gamma 3 by 2 is pi under root divided by 2 and zeta 3 by 2 is equal to 2.612 by rearranging this we can write the number of excited uh, boson in terms of equation number 7. Now we have the Bose temperature is the temperature at which all the bosons are in the excited state. So this is the critical temperature above which the mm, material exists in the normal state and below which the material start converting into the Bose-Einstein condensate. So if we are at the Bose temperature, so the total number of particles are in the excited state. So here uh, uh, in the previous slide you had Nex is equal to this by equation number 7 at any general temperature T but when we put uh, T is equal to Td so you can write uh, Nex which is the number of the excited number of boson to, to equal to the total number of particles so uh, from equation number 7 when we do this uh, substitution so we have the total number of particles given by equation number 8 now from this uh, uh, equation number 8 we can calculate the value of uh, both temperature so if you rearrange this equation so you have the value of the both temperature given by this number and you see that the value of the both temperature depends upon the number of particles um, per unit volume you know that uh, 
every metal is a different number of particles per unit volume that is why uh, every metal will have uh, different value of the pore temperature now from equation number 7 and 8 the ratio of the uh, excited number of boson to the total number of pore boson is given by uh, equation number 10 which depends on, on the uh, temperature. Uh, similarly, you can write this uh, uh, Nex equal to N minus N because we know that the total number of particles is equal to the number of particles in the ground state plus the number of particles in the excited state. So, the number of particles in excited state will be equal to the uh, number of uh, total number of particles minus the number of particles in the ground state. If you rearrange this, so you can write the ratio of the number of particles in the ground state toward the total number of boson given by equation number 11. So, when we are at the Bose uh, temperature, so from equation number 10, uh, n x is equal to n, that is all the boson are in the excited state and there is no particle in the ground state. Similarly, uh, for t is equal to 0, equation number 11 show that uh, the uh, excited number of particles will be equal to 0 and the equation number uh, 10 show that the ground state particle will be equal to n, that is all the boson will be in the ground state. So, the transition from the normal matter towards the both Einstein constant start at temperature below uh, both temperature and at absolute zero uh, the material is completely converted into both Einstein constant. However, at the temperature between the absolute zero and the both temperature, there is a mixture of the uh, both Einstein condensate and normal uh, matter. This you can see from this uh, plot. So the the dashed line represents the number of particles in the excited state and the solid line represents the number of particles in the ground state. So when you are at that temperature above the Bose temperature, so this ratio is equal to 1, means that uh, all the particles are in the excited state. However, when you go below the Bose temperature, so the ratio of the excited number of particles to the total number of particles go on decreasing, it means that the uh, excited uh, particle go on decreasing and it go on decreasing until it goes to zero at the absolute zero. At the same time, when the excited particle go on decreasing, the number of particles in the ground state go on increasing and at absolute zero, it, the, this ratio goes to one. It means that now the total number of particles are in the ground state. So here, this is a mixed state where we have Mm, some particle uh, in the ground state and some particle are in the excited state. However, here in this case, there is no particle in the uh, excited state while all the particles are in the ground state. So, this is the pure Bose-Einstein condensate. This is the mixed state and this is the pure normal matter state. So, uh, this was all about the Bose-Einstein condensation. We have covered the uh, main part of the, your syllabus, however, if you still have some problems, we can discuss uh, later on. Okay, thank you. Love is.